Good morning guys, how are you doing? Just wanted to touch something on really quickly, really, really, really fast. Um, I, I, I want to touch on something that we as parents have taken for granted and, and this is, this could mean a lot for the development of our children in this world. And I speak of the fact that, you know, we do, we commit sexual immorality since, um, well, sexual immorality um, outside of marriage and I know I sound redundant but you get my drift do you know and are you aware that generational curse is created when somebody does something wrong sin in their life and they have children and they have not broken that curse so that the children would not inherit it inherit it then it goes through family after family after family and sometimes it may skip a generation but most times it goes through family just like when you have one alcoholic in the family then you go you see the brother the sister everybody drinking the same way go down the family line the grandmother everybody drinking this is what we call generational curse so I speak today of abortion particularly sexual immorality, having sex out of marriage, and being in a relationship with a married man or a married woman. And how we have become so comfortable doing that, like it's it, it, nothing seemed to you know, tell us otherwise. So I'm here today to tell you that it needs to stop now. You cannot wait for tomorrow, but you have to stop it right now. So if you have a boyfriend, that is a married man and he's married he has a wife doesn't matter for what reason he has a wife a green card or whatever you should not be in a relationship with that person if you have a boyfriend who has a wife at home a family at home you should not encourage a kind of relationship because it is against god will it is fornication to an adulterer and then some of you go as far as having children for an adulterer and you know what the Bible speaks of when you have children out of wedlock. So I ask of you today, guys, that those of you that have had abortions for married men and abortions, period, what more do you want to happen in your life? If you do not cut those bondages and those generational curses, it is going to go down to your children. That your children are going to suffer the same fate. One of you, or many of you, or two of you here, who are watching this video right now. Committed abortion. How does that make you feel today? That, that child you aborted could have been a woman of God or a child of God. But you decided on your own free will, for what reason that is, I call it selfish, to take away the destiny God created for the child by a pure evil act. And that is what is crazy. Because these things do go down family line. When you have children making children at 15 years, at 13 years, at 16 years, what do you think is happening here? What do we have children at 16 years? And we don't break those chains. We don't get deliverance and, and release those bondages and those curses from us it goes to our children some of the children are, are, are lucky because God has a different destiny for them that they're able to be strong in the word of God but the majority of kids having kids these, these days is a clear example that we as parents are not doing our work we are not seeking the kingdom of heaven to get rid of those bondages to get rid of those generational curses and it is important we do so right now now you you listening to me and you're watching me right now that abortion you committed that abortion you had two years ago that abortion you had ten years ago seven years ago repent right now repent right now because God doesn't like it because it's an abomination and society makes it okay for a woman to choose to choose what?
is what God has created? Who do we think we are? Who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? I'm not a man of God if I, I allow a person to have abortion. So I'm saying to you right now, guys, let us break those generational curses. Let us break those bondages. Let us break those soul ties. Because some men are evil. People are evil out there. A married man said to you, it's okay to be with him? To have he and his wife? Really? Ladies, brothers, think of what you're doing today. God do not like those things. He is angry when we behave in that way. It is time to stop. If you're married, you know God do not like divorces. So if you're married, pray that God fixes your marriage. Your marriage. If you are single, pray that God send you a husband and live in the word of God every one of us. So God could show us his miracle because miracles happen every day. Every day. So it is your turn, guys, to pray. Pray in your heart. Lord Jesus, I pray right now for the divorces, Lord. I pray those who commit abortion, Lord Jesus. I pray for those who are fornicating, Lord Jesus. Father, it's not in your will for them, Lord. Because we know it is the demons who are trying to control the life and the kingdom away from seeking your kingdom of heaven, Lord. I pray now for this person. This person who is looking for the strength, this little strength, the inner strength right now. I pray for them that they receive the anointing spirit. The anointing spirit, the anointing Holy Spirit through them right now to speak to them and say, I love you. Give up that life. Give up that life. Do not allow another man to influence you, Lord. Do not allow another man to, 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 to take us away from you, Lord. We need you, Father. I pray in your holy name, Jesus. That of, as, that of today, as of today, many women and men listening right now to this prayer will do the right thing and will surrender to you, Lord, and to repent most importantly to repent those sins of sexual immorality unto you Lord Jesus fornication adultery lesbianism homosexuality repent those sins unto the Lord right now right now Father we thank you for life we thank you for the opportunity to pray and Father you said in your word ask and you shall receive Father we seek you right now at this hour of desperation thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name we pray. Amen. So guys, take this opportunity right now to go forward in your life and let's erase the past by repentance and say to God, Father, here I am. Father, here I am. Use me. Break me. And die from self. Die from self, folks. I see it on every day on WhatsApp and the status is about me, 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 I. And the Bible speaks about praising other people, worshiping other idols. God wants to see his name everywhere, in everything. So whatever you're doing today, from today, bring it to God. And you would see his miracle. Blessed love, brothers and sisters. Believe what I say. Believe in the word of God. Trust in the word of God. And believe in his faith and his miracles.